Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. I hope you're in for a good time today. Have you seen the news? Donald Trump has given an interview with Piers Morgan, and he has covered many topics, one of which has to do with uh, the popular Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And he is claiming uh, a number of things. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've read the article, but I'll give you the the highlights. This is going to air tonight on Sky News in Australia, I believe. In Australia, Piers Morgan is now doing interviews for Sky News Australia. Maybe he likes, uh, maybe he likes the style of Australian uh, news. Let's say I, I think it's a fair statement. Maybe he wants to um, take on Karl Stefanovic. I don't. I think perhaps Karl Stefanovic would win because he's an Aussie. What am I going to say? But in any event, let's get in to, it's certainly going to be a competition between Karl Stefanovic and Piers Morgan. They're both going to have to step up their game. And I have to say, from the news reporting that I'm seeing in the media, uh, they're, they're hitting them very hard. So in any event, let's have a look at some of the things Trump has said. I'm going to quote now. I'm not a big fan of Meghan, and I wasn't from the beginning. Poor Harry is being led around by his nose, and I think he's an embarrassment and I think when she spoke badly of the royal family, but in particular the Queen, you know, I met the Queen. It was supposed to be 20 minutes. He goes on, he's telling me about the meeting with the Queen. And he goes on to say, here's my issue with it. I think they're, they've quit the country. They've quit royal duty. They're living in luxury and California. They want to use their royal titles to exploit them for massive financial gain without any of the duty that comes with royal titles. Can you li are you listening to this? This is a epic, epic shots uh, Trump is firing here. I don't think you can have your royal cake and eat it. That's my argument about it. That's what Trump's saying. Then he goes on to say they won't last. Piers Morgan asks him, you think it's going to end? And Donald Trump says, I do. I've been a very good predictor as you know i predicted almost everything <laughs> okay it'll end and it'll end bad i wonder if harry's going to go back on his hands and knees back into the beautiful city of london and say please you know i think harry has been led down a path unbelievable unbelievable then they talk about prince philip's memorial how that was Terrible, Donald Trump says, it was a terrible thing. Many terrible things that might have been, as you mentioned, that that might have been the worst of all because he was, you know, like her. He was a tough cookie. I remember years ago, Prince Philip came to New York and we were in the Plaza Hotel and there were many people wanting to meet him. Uh, and he, he continues in his conversation uh, and he talks about, but I thought it was terrible when Harry didn't go to the memorial of Prince Philip. Yeah, I think the Harry situation is going to fall, unfold in a much different way. And Donald Trump agrees with Piers Morgan saying, I would uh, strip the titles. The only thing I disagree with the Queen on, probably only the one thing ever, is that she should have said, if that's your choice, fine. But you no longer have titles, you know, and frankly, don't come around here when you're just because her loyalty is to the country she said that many times, her loyalty is to the country, and I think he has been so disrespectful to the country, and it is a great country, unbelievable, that is a next level dressing down from Donald Trump there, so today, what are we, what are we looking at today on Famous Fortunes, we're going to be looking at Meghan and Harry reacting to the Trump interview, Let's, that's what we're going to look at today, we're going to gauge some reactions when this comes out, you've got to love Australian news. You've got to love Australian people. You've got to love the Australian way. If you're not from Australia, then you may not know about the Australian way. But in any event, in any event we're going to look here at Harry. <laughs> Donald Trump says, Harry is whipped. Do you know the expression? To which Piers Morgan replies, I am familiar with the phrase. Donald Trump says, I won't use the full expression. <laughs> But Harry is whipped like no person I've ever seen.
<laughs> Piers Morgan replies, the most whipped man in the world. <laughs> Donald Trump goes, I don't know, but that's going to be a big one, but he is a whipped man. <laughs> Okay, so they've had, they've, they've, had, they've had a conversation. Okay, they've had a conversation. They've shared their thoughts uh, <laughs> around the issue. This is going to be something. I wonder how Harry's going to feel when he hears that uh, <laughs> Donald, Trump, Donald Trump says that he is whipped like no person I think I've ever seen. Oh, boy, that is, that, that is quite... That is quite something. So let's get into this today. Find out. We're going to look at Harry's reaction first, and then we're going to look at Megan's reaction, uh, and we're going to gauge here. And then we're going to look, you know what? We're going to look as a bonus reading. We are going to look at William's reaction, because I'm sure that he's going to hear about this. And I really feel like, you know, reaching out to William energetically with the cards, of course, and tapping into his reaction to Donald Trump's statement that Prince Harry is the most whipped man I think I have ever seen. Let that be known. So if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. Uh, if you have a question for a future video, let it be known in the comments. All those good things. If you are new to the channel, then let it be known. A lifetime of good fortune and good luck awaits those who subscribe to Famous Fortunes. So let that be known. Let's dive in. Prince Harry. How does Prince Harry feel or will he feel if he hasn't seen the uh, transcript yet or when he sees the interview? How will Prince Harry feel about this? Cards are hot. We have Ace of Cups, the Magician. Ooh, interesting card, the Magician. We're going to talk about that. The Five of Wands, that is interesting. The Lovers. Oh, I see. Very interesting. This is going to be a very interesting uh, foray into Harry's mindset. So let that be known. The Sun, Underlying Energy, the Ten of Wands. Wands, the Ten of Wands. So, you know, this is going to be, we're breaking new ground today on Famous Fortunes. I'm going to tell you that already. We haven't touched on uh, mindsets, and that's perhaps why I thought this topic would be so interesting because it would give us a window into things. Okay, around, you know, the inner workings, inner psychology, let's say. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, let me have some tea. So, fundamentally, Prince Harry is looking at this, is going to look at this interview as, you know, Donald Trump is offering his opinion, but it's more than that. He's looking at it like he's making it up. That's, you know, that's what I'm seeing on the cards. He's, he's, he is making up what he's saying and that it's not necessarily based on something that is uh, a reality based sort of analysis, but it's something that uh, Donald Trump is is just making up. He's 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 inventing. He's inventing what he's saying. So that's that's a very interesting take on it. Actually, I didn't expect to see this on the cards. I'm not sure quite what I was expecting, and that's the fun sometimes of these readings. But in any event, the magician here is telling us that it, he believes Prince Harry believes or will believe when he sees the interview that Donald Trump's just making this up, and it's not really it's not something that's real. He's making it up out of nothing. Okay, he's creating from nothing. Is the archetype here, the archetype royale. So uh, let that be known. And he's Donald Trump. This is the view here. He's on purposely stirring conflict with the uh, with the lovers. I mean, do I have to translate that archetype? Probably not. He's he's on purposely stirring animosity. I would believe or conflict. You know that type of thing with uh, Harry and Meghan. So that is, you know, that is that's. You know, publicly, he's doing it publicly. I, I, I have to say, what an interesting mindset. I want to note that this is very interesting and not something that I perhaps would have expected, but that is the, again, that's the, the sort of interesting thing about tarot reading. Sometimes you see things on the cards that are very, very unusual and unique. 
Now, of course, the Ten of Wands uh, here suggests that Harry's looking at this interview as something that is... It's going to be very difficult for, uh, let's say, for Prince Harry in particular, his reputation going forward. It's going to put some significant strain on his uh, reputation and be quite... Um, quite difficult sort of for him to maybe this may weigh on in this may weigh on him going forward this may weigh on him so that's what i see on the cards that's what i see fairly straightforward reading here uh interesting reading i have to say let's have a look how does megan feel about this how does megan feel how does megan feel about when she watches or covers the, you know, when she watches the Donald Trump interview, if she does, if she hears about it, how will she feel? Cards are hot. Eight. Okay, she's got work to do. <laughs> she's got work to do. Oh boy. I think we are interesting. Let's say uh, five of coins, eight of coins, five of coins, two of swords. Yeah. Nine of cups. Ooh. The star, underlying energy here. The seven of coins and the queen of swords. The Queen of Swords. So, uh, very interesting reaction. It seems to me that, yes, she does have some work to do uh, when when this comes about. I think maybe that there will be a need here for things to be said, or maybe not, it's not what will be said, it's what's going to be denied. I think perhaps is going to be more powerful than what will be said. Uh, if we're going to talk about, uh, you know, me explaining the energies to you, uh, I think it's going to be things that are going to be denied and rejected. I see a lot of reject, rejection and denial on the cards from the Queen of Swords. So that's what I see. I see that is a fundamental uh, part of the reaction here. She's got work to do. So this is this is this is something that is going to cause. It, or it has the potential in Megan's mind, perhaps, to cause, you know, problems for uh, Megan and Harry, I think. So maybe there's a concern that this may get to Harry. She's going to have to come out and deny it, I think. I think she's going to deny it to Harry. That's what I see. But, you know, there's a very peculiar card here. I want it to be known, let it be known, uh, that there's a very strange card here, the Nine of Cups. And I'm not sure... Why this card is showing itself, the card is suggesting that Megan is, to herself at least, very, very happy that this has happened. The Nine of Cups, she's very satisfied with what Donald Trump has said. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, she's, she's satisfied. There's even an element you could say, it, you know, depends on how much flavor we want to attribute to this particular card, the Nine of Cups, but we could even suggest uh, the that there's an element of smugness here or, you know, that type of sort of, you know, self-gratification energy, if you like. So there's certainly that on the cards. So, you know, to, I, I'm not quite sure why she would feel that way after having to reject it, but uh, I'll, I'll let you be the judge. Let that be known. So, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, that is... That is something else. That is something else. I think there's a certain uh, positivity or happiness around the fact that Donald Trump's mentioned mentioned them. Let that be known. Let that be known. So uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fill in the blanks on that. Any ideas? Let it be known in the comments what you think. Let it be known. Let it be known. 
let's have a look. Prince William, I want to know, what does William think here around this particular Donald Trump interview? What does he think? What will he think? What will William think? What will William think? Cards are hot. Six of coins. The Prince of Swords. Just. <laughs> Justice. Justice. The Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Underlying energy. The Six of Swords and El Diablo. El Diablo on the cards today. So let that be known. Uh, we'll get our devil swear jar funds at the ready. And if you're new to the channel, we, there's a certain, uh, let's say, tradition we have on Famous Fortunes. When we see the devil card, it does tend to grace our, uh, let's say, grace our table more often uh, than not uh, in certain readings and certain individuals. And it's so much so it becomes like a dirty swear word. So let that be known. Now... What does Prince William think? Well, this is, you know, I, I get a serves them right attitude here. That's kind of, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Uh, the Justice card, the Devil card, those other cards here. Prince William is definitely going to hear these comments or be be told of them. I think maybe the comments will be relayed to him. Will he watch the interview? I, I can't say from this particular, uh, from this particular from these particular energies, I don't see an energy of necessarily watching, but maybe hearing parts or seeing parts, perhaps. Uh, but not sitting down and watching the whole thing. He's probably got better things to do. Uh, but in any event, the Justice card here, it's pretty much just serves them right. That's what they get, you know, attitude. Even, to be fair, even an energy of, well, I think Trump's, you know, Trump is making a very, very... Uh, let's say fair and reasonable analysis of the situation. Let's say that. I think that's an extended sort of justice meaning here, uh, in given the circumstances and that he, you know, he, he kind of, he really served it to Harry. I think that's kind of the that's well served it to them. I think he, he the perception is he really served the justice to them uh, in a very um, pronounced way. Uh, I think that's uh, you know interesting. I also think what, what William finds interesting here is that the fact that Harry may walk away. I think that's from the relationship. There's there is an interesting. Uh, Note here, I think, that William's making, and I'm just trying to find the comment again about Harry may wake up. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, Harry's, here we go. This is Donald Trump. I wonder, and I wonder if Harry's going, going to go back on his hands and knees. Uh, that's not the comment I was looking for. The comment I was looking for is, he may wake up. Hmm. Yeah, he may he may wake up. So, you know, I think that's interesting to William that that Harry may come back or walk away. He, Harry decides he's had enough. There you go of being bossed around. That that's it. When Harry decides he's had enough of being bossed around, uh, I think that was interesting to William. I think that William has noted that that you know Donald he thinks Donald Trump. Oh, he's he thinks it's interesting. Donald Trump thinks that Harry actually could walk away because I'm not sure if William thinks that. <laughs> Let that be known, because the de you know the devil energy here is. Let's just say. Let's just say, folks, that the devil energy is a, a long term commitment. Let's let's let that be known. Let, let, that's a long term commitment, folks. So uh, perhaps it's very surprising for William to see that on the cards. So let that all be known. Let that all be known. What do you think about some of the things I've said today? Get in there in the comment section and let it be known how you feel about this. If you've seen the interview or read the transcript, perhaps 
Many of you will have seen the interview by the time uh, by the time you see this episode. So go in there and let us know some of your favorite bits or bits you found the most interesting. And I will see you in the comment section.